What day is it? What day is it? <laughs> Wednesday. It's Wednesday. What does that mean? It's Wednesday. That's right. It's Fossil Friday. <laughs> So how far is it to that up, David? What's the speed limit on this road? Look at it! It looks like we're in like a film where they put you in like a... Yeah. A big car. We need to do this. This is green screen. Here you go. This is there. My coffee shop at the beach. I don't know. That's not what it is. Well, there might... No, I don't know. Is there fish and chips at the beach? No. What kind of beach is this? So I'm good at finding ammonites, aren't I? Yeah. I have experience in finding ammonites. Yeah. You? You don't have... You, there's no experience in anything. I found a lot of trilobites. You hit a quarry full of trilobites. And I'm very keen. That's like finding cheese. In a cheese aisle. Going to Lavender Beach. We were gonna go to Lavender Nature, and then no, we were gonna go to Lavender Beach. And then I said, and then I said, <laughs> never heard of it. Ever heard of it? <laughs> I said that maybe we should go to Lavender Nature because I just I like the, the whole place. We're not going to Lavender Beach. No, we're not. No. And then I said, okay, let's go back to Lavender. Okay, let's see what you know about Lavender Beach. What? What are the age of the fossils there? What what two uh, <laughs> what two geological periods? Matthew, Matthew, this is a testing thing. Do cat things and I do the website. I do Instagram. He does. And I do Twitter. Yeah. And I'm forcing you to do videos. Yeah. What right. else do I do? So I I do all the website. Yeah. I uh. You did all the website. What does that mean? I didn't put all the stuff on it. I made it look pretty. Yeah, because it looked like crap, apparently. And then you had to make it. It did look like crap, didn't it? You've got these nice houses. I know. Everybody really fucking nice houses. houses. Look at Okay, so this is Lavernock Beach. Now down in that direction, I don't know if you can see them on the video, you've got some red rocks. Uh, these are the Triassic Age rocks. In terms of finding fossils, uh, there is a bone bed uh, found in some of these rocks where you can find plesiosaur and ichthyosaur remains. And then over towards the west, you'll find the slightly younger Jurassic Age rocks. Um, in the Jurassic Age rocks on this beach, typically you can find partial ammonites. Further on down in that direction, I think you can find some Silicarus ammonites, Silicarus planorbis. I'm pretty sure you can find some big brachiopods down here too. Uh, when these rocks were laid down, the landscape looked a lot different to this. Uh, these are marine rocks, so they were all laid down underneath the sea. So this was mostly a marine environment. There were islands dotted around too. It was known as the St. David's Archipelago. Uh, a few years ago, I think it was in 2015, there was actually a dinosaur found here, which is really strange. There are hardly any dinosaurs known from Wales. Uh, not only that, but the dinosaur was actually found in rocks right at the base of the Jurassic. So it's thought that it might actually be one of the oldest Jurassic Age dinosaurs ever found. Um, I'm going to try and find the spot where it was found in a minute. I've got the paper with me so I can use that for reference. Got the see. It's a shell. It's not a snap. It's not a snap, right? It is. It's not. It's the other side. It's, no, it's the bottom of a shell. Oh, it's not sure that then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but look, there's loads of stuff in here. Uh, 
so this is the spot where the small theropod dinosaur was found. The guys who found the dinosaur actually started a thread on the fossil forum and they documented the discovery and how they prepped the dinosaur out. So if you're interested in reading some of that, I'll leave a link in the description below. And as you can see, um, the dinosaur was actually found just above the Triassic-Jurassic uh, boundary, um, just above the base of the Jurassic. So it's actually thought that it might be one of the earliest Jurassic Age dinosaurs known. So uh, let's take a look at what we found. Well, um, I think David probably found the nicest fossil. Uh, he found this nice ammonite. Um, it's far from complete, but you can see the uh, the chambers really nice in there. Um, it's been infilled with some minerals. Uh, we also found another few little bits of ammonite. This was a nice little piece that I kept. Uh, but by far the most common things we found were things like uh, these bivalves. Um, we've probably found like half a dozen other uh, bivalves which were about this size but they were too heavy to bring back so we left them there and then we found some stuff that was still in the rock but um, we bought some prep tools recently which I'm planning to use soon and I want to get a little bit of practice so these are going to be the test subjects for that um, maybe I'll report back and show you like how that went show you the mess that I've made so yeah overall I think it was a it was a good day out if you're thinking of going to Lavinock Beach, I definitely recommend it. Um, I mean, if Watch It is closer to you, if you're over the other side of the Seven Estuary, I'd probably say go there instead because we found some nice Silicarus ammonites, uh, nice iridescent ammonites over there. Uh, I know you can find Silicarus ammonites also in Lavinock, but um, I'm not sure the preservation of them is as nice as over in Watch It. And we didn't find it. Well, I think we found a couple a couple of little ones, uh, but they weren't really salvageable in any way, so we just left them there. Um, yeah, so I hope you liked the video. Uh, as always, if you think you might want to buy your own fossil, then please check out our website. Uh, it's www.dinofossils.co.uk. And if you liked the video, please leave a like. And until next time, bye!